Dick the Billy T. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. So world confused with me. Welcome to Colonial Conversations. I'm Emma Kiefer. I'm Holly Riscosi. And I'm Theo Cecharoni. Today we're talking out with the old and in with the new. We are now past a year since a worldwide pandemic hit and things changed dramatically everywhere due to COVID-19. We were forced to quarantine at home and our lives as students became very, very different from remote learning to hybrid learning. And while things are different, different doesn't always mean bad. We're going to take a look at the positives here at SHS, but first, let's take a look at the COVID year in review. Wow, we really have had a year of so many things other than COVID. Definitely. But as a senior, COVID sure has stunted the fun activities we look forward to every year. But that doesn't mean we aren't celebrating our seniors. From applying to colleges to remembering some of our favorite SHS memories, let's hear from a few members of the class of 2021. Whoa. I applied to Quinseg. Assumption in Worcester State. Uh, so far, I've applied to UMaine, University of Alabama, Hudson University, Keene State, SNHU, and Bridgewater. Uh, I applied to broad schools, mainly UK and Canadian ones. Uh, I've applied to Merrimack and UMaine. I applied to UTampa, University of South Carolina, UMass, Clemson, and Elon. I've applied to UMass Amherst, UVM, and a few schools over in Norway. I've applied to UMass Amherst, Ithaca, Syracuse University, University of Vermont, Penn State, and University of Delaware. Um, I hope to attend URI or maybe UConn. I plan on attending either UMass Lowell or Champlain. <laughs> I plan to attend Ithaca. Right now the schools I'm kind of deciding between are Emerson and Ithaca. I'm planning to attend Suffolk University. I committed to University of Vermont. I'm going to go to QCC for two years and then figure out what school I want to go to from there. I'm planning to attend UMass Lowell. I'm going to join the club tennis team and also join the dance team. Um, I'm planning on majoring in civil engineering and I'm hoping to do something with architecture. During college, I hope to either major in radio and television or broadcast journalism. Uh, right now, I'm considering majoring in applied mathematics. 
Um, I plan on majoring in fashion merchandising. Um, I'm planning to play baseball and also major in finance. I might be cheering and I'm going to major in entrepreneurship and pre-business. My favorite memory at SHS is the Spirit Rally. Um, best memory at SHS is when I threw a crash game at Jameson. My favorite memory at SHS was playing soccer under the stadium lights. Best memory would honestly have to be um, Disney Day for Spirit Week and joining a unified club. Uh, my favorite memory at SHS is either the tailgate before the SJ soccer game or winning the class cup. Uh, my favorite memory at SHS is um, winning the district championship. Uh, our favorite memory is just playing basketball together. So what'd you guys think? I think it looks great. So nice to see everyone again. Can't wait to see what you guys do next year. All right, I guess that's it. Bye. See you guys all next year. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I'm here with Bella Hannaford, our 2021 class president. Bella, we have a few things in the works right now, the first being the weekly raffle for seniors. Can you give us some more insight on that? Um, so uh, the Shrewsbury community and parents of seniors team together to provide us with um, gift cards and different gift items for us to raffle off to four seniors a week. Right, and our 50-day mark is coming up. Do we have anything going on? Um, actually, today is our 50-day countdown, and we have a... Um, Senior breakfast plan for the morning of March 24th. There'll be two breakfasts um, that are optional to go to, and we hope to see all cohorts there. And for any students and parents who might have an idea about a COVID safe event, how can they get in touch with you? Um, well, our emails are always open. Um, I would say for parents that they should reach out to our great administrator, Mr. Lazat. And for students, they know um, the class officer's emails, um, and including mine, they can always reach out to one of us. And lastly, do you have any advice for seniors to keep their spirits up these last couple of months? Um, I would say to my seniors that they should look forward to the next chapter and realize, although that um, the ending to our high school career wasn't what we pictured, that they should be positive and find a reason to smile. Great, and thank you for coming on tonight. No problem. Thanks for you and Bella. One of the other things that's important for not just for our seniors, but for our school, sports are back in action. This year obviously has been different, from masks to new rules, but that doesn't matter. Players are just happy being back with their teams. Caleb Supernor has more on this story. Athletics at SHS this year have certainly been different due to the pandemic, but senior student athletes are trying their best to finish off their career strong. We talked to two senior captains on how they're approaching their season. Well, I think especially this year to start the season, not having that team bonding, um, like the chemistry just wasn't there on the ice. Like there's no locker room right now. We can't really hang out outside. So not being able to be with each other has made it tough for a lot of kids. Ryan Sandy, a captain of the hockey team, talked to us about what he's doing to keep up the team spirit. Just like keep everyone's spirits up when we're at practices and getting dressed and undressed at games. Senior Holly Ruscosi, one of the girls basketball captains, also talked to us about the importance of bonding with your team. Chemistry off the court really translates onto the court as well. Once you start getting close with your teammates and making connections, you're able to kind of know the way that they play and their style. So I think spending time with people off the court can really benefit the team as a whole so that you guys can be close overall. Obviously, this year has been rough for seniors with not getting a proper goodbye for their sports. But Holly and Ryan both reflected on what their sports mean to SHS as a whole. Well, I think my freshman year, uh, we had a very good team. We won states. And just the whole school kind of got behind us during that run. So I think it really shows how much everyone at the school seems to enjoy it. I think basketball is one of those sports that a ton of people just love to come and watch. So I think a lot of people are really missing just the huge crowds at games and how fun it would be to come together as a school and cheer on um, our classmates and things like that. So I think that's something that we definitely missed this year. Overall, even with all the restrictions, seniors are still happy to be finishing off their career strong. We wish the best of luck to all of our student athletes in the upcoming and present seasons. 
That basketball captain seems pretty cool. Eh, she's all right. Hey, you two, can we talk about Zoom now? SHS, do you feel like you're constantly Zooming? We feel like that, too. Two of our own classmates found ways to make these times more fun. Here's Mikey and Caleb's piece. Good morning, students. It's time to Zoom. All right, can you guys open up your assignment? Morning, guys. Time to Zoom. Oh, come on. Wake up. We got to get to work. What's up? Yo, Mike, I'm so bored, dude. There's got to be something I can still do. I mean, we have football starting next week. We can go hit the field if you want. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad idea. You want to meet me up at the school right now? All right, yeah, I'll see you there. All right, yeah, cool. I'll see you there. We hope that you're all having fun and finding ways to have some great conversations. It's important to talk to your friends, your classmates, and remember to smile. Thanks for joining us for Colonial Conversations. We'll see you next time, and from all of us at Colonial TV, happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. I hope that you're all finding ways to have fun and <laughs> having some great conversations. It's important to talk to your friends your <laughs> and find reasons to laugh with your friends. Thanks for joining us for Colonial Conversations. We'll see you next time. And from all of us at the Colonial TV studio, happy St. Patrick's Day.